Hey, welcome back to the channel. I am still out and about today and I thought I'd come on and continue um, this particular chat and this one is entitled um, Narcissism or Narcissist the leopards they don't change their spots so and it's all about expectations and keeping hope that let me see what's gonna happen here let me back out of this spot and I am going to finish talking sorry guys come on focus 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 so, I know a lot of us who have been in relationships and have family members who were or who are on that narcissistic spectrum, and we understand that it is a pathological, it is an illness, it is something that they clearly can be diagnosed with. And a lot of them don't get diagnosed because clearly they don't feel anything is wrong with them. They feel that they're superior, they know more, and um, they don't ever get diagnosed. And I think typically how they end up coming to therapy or getting treatment is if it's something related to their job or their marriage or they're going to lose something so they head into therapy or a family member is in therapy and somehow or another the therapist gets wind that this person is a narcissist and the narcissist, the, the, the um, empath or the target because we're targets to them, right? We're targets. So the target ends up bringing their spouse or their loved one or family member to therapy. But even with going through therapy, from what I've researched and what I've found out, that these people rarely ever change. They, This is a part of their DNA now. Unfortunately, it's a part of who they are. So they don't change their spots. So, I guess what I'm trying to say is we need to have clear-cut expectations, um, some logical expectations that, guess what, these people are probably never going to change and they're going to continue with this behavior for the rest of their life. So, we should accept that uh, and as we accept that, we just figure out ways to deal with the situation either go no contact low contact and or you know the strategies to deal with them but the expectations and when I'm thinking about myself over these years like 20 something 30 years really my whole entire life I always knew like I said something was wrong but I could never put my my finger on it and I really didn't put my finger on it until I found YouTube. But I always had these expectations that these people could get better. You know, I am a person that believes in God. And I believe that we can change. And I believe that people, that you should always have a hope. But I guess in this world that we're living in right now, science has not seen where these people actually can change and I know myself just thinking about it now I had these expectations well you know give these people a, another chance and the benefit of the doubt and I know people who are listening watching the channel you know what it is to continuously give people focus come on focus to give people the benefit of the doubt and nothing ever happens. They don't change. They continue to the behavior. And as time goes on, it, it gets even worse. And I guess we have to come out of the fog and the cognitive dissonance and understand that this is the reality. These are who these people are. They will more than likely 99.9% .9 of the time not change. And we have to have realistic expectations and very low, you know, you always want to have high expectations for people, but for these people, you can't have high expectations because you'll get clearly disappointed. You have to have very low expectations but that these things are going to um, remain the same. You know, they're not going to change. They're not going to 
um, miraculously one day start treating you well and praising you. They may do that, you know, and during the stages, you know, they do the love bombing, you know, dis, you know, devaluation and discard. So in that cycle of abuse and people, this is what this is. This is abuse. A lot of abusers are narcissists. Okay. In that cycle of abuse, they will love bomb you again, especially if they've done something to you. Apologize. Oh my God. I'm so sorry. Focus. Focus. I don't know why this thing ain't focusing, but anyway, in that, um, in the, um, In the uh, different stages, they will love bomb you, devalue you, and then discard you. And then they want to come back around if you're a good source of supply to continue to get um, to continue to get uh, uh, supply from you. But all I can say is, don't have any expectations that these people are going to change. Um, Leopards do not change their spots. They don't. The leopard spots are with them their entire life. So don't think that these people are going to miraculously change, you know, have some sort of, you know, miraculous intervention, you know, call Ayana Van Zant and see if they can fix their life. Ayana can't fix their life. You know, the, the most sophisticated, um, focus the most sophisticated therapist can't fix these people so you can't you know get anybody dr phil you can't get on yana oprah can't come and really help these individuals they are just not gonna work it's not gonna work with them so just have you know low to no expectations and stop wishing and hoping that these people could get better, understand what you're dealing with, and have a strategy to deal with these people because there is a strategy on how you deal with them. And really, in my thought process, if you don't have to deal with them, the best strategy is to leave them alone and to get away from them. Don't talk to them, don't speak to them, and just go on with your life and live your best life, right? So with that being said, I think this is going to be my last video for today. I'm about to head home and make me some uh, vegan omelets. I don't know um, if I've mentioned this, but I don't uh, consume meat. So um, I'm always trying to find recipes to make good food. But with that being said, love yourself. Don't have expectations for these individuals continue to work on you and uplift yourself and as always own your life peace